Hello biology students! Today we're going to be talking about macromolecule functions. So you're going to have a chart and in your chart you're going to need to fill in information about the functions or the examples that we're going to be going through in this notes. Let's get started. So last time we talked about the four major categories of polymers or macromolecules and one of them was carbohydrates. Well carbohydrates are all about short-term energy storage. That part about it being quick energy is really important, which is why you have like a pasta party before a big game or a big race, because it gives you quick energy. Carbohydrate examples can include things like sugar, glucose, all right? Things like milk is going to have a special type of sugar called lactose. That specifically is two different building blocks or monomers put together, versus glucose is just one single monomer. Other things are like starch, cellulose, those things are big, big molecules. These are polymers, many, many monomers put together. Starches in things like potatoes, pasta, rice, all right? So here are three different examples from the smallest to some medium all the way to some big ones. All right, let's go on to our next macromolecule category. Lipids are fats. So um, what is the function of a lipid? Well, it's a long-term energy storage, which is why it's so hard to really burn off fat if we were trying to lose weight. It takes such a long time to burn that energy, but it is for energy. Fats can also keep someone insulated. All right, think about a seal. A seal is pretty blubbery and big, right? It's pretty large, and that keeps a seal warm in a cold environment. Also, we'll learn that the outside part of a cell is made up of these fats as well. Examples, well, in our food products, it's going to be oils, well, again, fats, lard, Crisco, waxes, cholesterol, all of these things are fats, all right? We can see some food examples right here. Make sure as you take notes, if something's surprising to you, circle it, put a question mark, that way you can ask us in class. Next one, proteins. Proteins have a lot of different functions. So for instance, they're involved with movement, like our muscles. If we're eating something like a steak, that's actually mostly the muscle of an animal. Transport, they help move things like oxygen. The protein hemoglobin does that. Speeding up chemical reactions is a special type of thing called an enzyme, which is a protein. Defense, like keeping us healthy, which is done by antibodies. Structure, like our hairs and nails, those are actually proteins, right? We don't want to eat those proteins, but they are proteins, all right? Next, um, oh, and so our examples were on this slide in addition to having what they do. So the yellow is what they do, the examples are underneath. It's both, okay? Last but not least, we have nucleic acids. This is the weird one, which we, we don't really think about with regards to food. Well, nucleic acids are all about storing genetic information and having the information to build or cook proteins, right? That's really important, and we're going to learn about it throughout the year. Our two major examples are DNA and RNA, and anything that was once alive, whether it was an animal or a plant, that thing is going to have in its cells DNA or RNA. So we could take a banana or a strawberry or a piece of salmon and we can, out of its cells, get DNA. Super cool. Wonderful job, guys. We're going to practice these examples and these functions in class. Good job.